Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be showcasing my sub one minute hair Bjork clears with my sweet button style team. So this team looks quite unusual, and I have more than enough skill boosts, I just kind of threw them all on at the end. But basically the idea is I have a Lu Bu inherited onto one of my Cerberus Riders to give both the damage to kill two things, as well as the four times attack for devil types, which is important, because I'm basically be relying on Lucifer to kill everything. The other Jizz has the special Satan, which is important, it's farmable, and allows you to actually deal huge amounts of damage and the full board of dark. The Lucifer is kind of the key to this. The Super Awakening doesn't take effect, but he is my leader, and he also is able to do massive amounts of effective damage against god types. For the other side, I have another Satan inherited, and Satan, again, will create that dark board as well as dealing damage, and Vajal has a Brachy Dios inherited. I guess in theory it could be another Satan, but Brachy Dios was less turns to come up. I guess I probably could have done two Satans, but this is actually okay. So basically the idea is I'm going to be buttoning through, and when I actually play through the dungeon, it's only, it's less than a minute long. Like when I record it once I'm in the dungeon ready to play, it was like 53 seconds or so. So... This team is definitely very fast and quite efficient, at least for my standards, in terms of button farming. So I touch Lu Bu, damage boost, damage AoE. Because like if I were to stone for stamina, I would be able to gain uh, 475 plus stamina. So that means that is 19 plus 30 runs. That's 570 pluses. So each of my stones is 570 pluses. Is that worth it? It depends. So there it goes. The swipe. It's not that much damage. Kaede is used as a leader to ensure no sky falls. So again, it makes it run faster and prevents light orbs from falling down at the end. I have enough skill binders just to resist all of it. So I can pop the first, and then I touch Satan after to finish it. And then I swipe, and it's dead. Pretty straightforward dungeon overall, at least. So again, the Kaede ensures no sky falls. So if a light were to fall down, I don't actually lose. So the Lucifer does huge amounts of damage. It is dead. This is a great day. So, hopefully this video does provide you with a little bit of inspiration as to how you can tackle Herb York. Obviously, buttoning is nice. It makes things go quicker. But again, if you're not stoning for stamina or you're not terribly pressed for time, it's not necessarily needed. But it does feel kind of good seeing things die to buttons. And I built this team from scratch based on my monster box. So I'm a little happy of how it turned out. Again, you could easily just use like say like um Kaede paired with like a uh, Lu Bei, Zeus Dios or any green row farming team and just Zeus Dios swipe through as long as you have enough skill bind resist to handle the sea serpent which is not that challenging to do so hopefully all a fantastic day I wish you all the best of luck in your own pet adventures and happy puzzling